the perils of shooting in a new location. Hey y'all, all right, so I've been wanting to make this video for a while and I put out a tweet and you guys very much wanted this. So lately I've been thinking a lot about what it means to be socially acceptable or what a social norm is anyway. You know, like shaking someone's hand when you meet them or washing your hands after you use the bathroom, which I've noticed a lot of people don't do. So I'm kind of like, what is normal? And the reason I was thinking about this was because I was on Instagram, which as many of you all know, is my favorite social media. And I always see these people, you know, they be scrolling through and they post a picture of, you know, their food or their dog or like their chest post op and it's all lovely things and I especially love food pictures and then it just hit me the other day and I was like you know what people are always putting out pictures of their food but sometimes like I poop and my poop is so beautifully like long and just all together and it makes like the perfect poop emoji swirl I don't know. Anyway, sometimes I realize I'm weird because after I poop, I'm like, oh, I wish I could take a picture of that and share it on my Instagram. Like, does anybody else even, does anybody else go through that too? What, what weird things do you do that you think might socially not be normal? Because now I just want to say that that desire, I understand that's like, okay, Sky, like pooping's a little weird. And then I was like, well, where do we draw the line? Like, do we draw the line at farting, burping? Like, what is socially acceptable behavior? So. Now that you know about what I really wish I was posting on my Instagram account, <laughs> I found this article detailing social norm examples from yourdictionary.com. I don't know how accurate these are, but I've gotten a kick out of them so far. So let's just go right into it. And like the other thing that I find that isn't listed on this list that you'll see that I think is strange is uh, never to assume someone's pronouns or never to assume someone's name or to acknowledge that someone's name is their actual name like there should be something on this list that's like when you meet someone named, named Steve do not tell them that they look more like a John and therefore you're only gonna call them John because you think they look more like a John like anyway <laughs> just my, just my two cents on uh, what's covered in this list okay so social norms are the rules of behavior that are considered acceptable in a group or society so they might change from society to society and they evolve over time so it used to be uh, you know like a social norm was like women would wear only skirts down to your ankles or something like that and if it was above your ankle or showing any ankle that was unacceptable behavior because that was promiscuity so our definitions of these things have changed, right? Anyway, jumping right into it, let's see. Social norms regarding public behavior. Number one, shake hands when you meet someone. Ah, that's the example I use, so we're doing well. I prefer to hug though, you know, is that cool? We prefer to hug? We can hug too, right? Okay. Have direct eye contact with the person you are speaking with. Oh, I'm speaking certain. Have direct eye contact with the person you are speaking with. And how was your day? I mean, I guess you don't need to always be looking directly into someone's eyes, but some eye contact is probably good. Unless the movie theater is crowded, never sit right next to someone. Yo, bro, it's just me and you here. <laughs> Do not stand close enough to someone to touch arms or hips. Like, have you ever been on a bus or like on the subway in Boston? Yeah, you're gonna be touching. You're gonna be touching more than just your arms and your hips, okay? Do not curse in polite conversation. Yeah, I guess like if you're with like a kid, you wouldn't be like, get the bleeping crayons out. Yeah, okay. Do not pick your nose. I do that all the time, sorry. Wear clothing, especially of a similar style that others wear. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, am I supposed to, like others? Like, so, so should I wear, you know, like the train conductor's uniform? Or like, am I supposed to just, turn into the people around me, like bring a couple different shirts just to make sure. I'm... No, just wear clothing, okay? Just clothing. Say please and thank you. That's something that, yeah, yeah. Be kind to the elderly, like opening a door or giving up your seat. Okay, except this like assumes that you know when someone's elderly. So you're just like, oh, have my seat. And they're like, I'm gonna hit you, I'm not old. Like, who knows, who knows? But I guess I can understand the thought behind that. Don't invade someone's personal space. 
Again, if I'm taking the subway to work, there's a good chance I'm gonna have someone's backpack like in my face. In fact, I had someone cough on my face the other day. That was in my personal space, but like where else were they gonna cough? Like we were jammed in together, okay. When at someone's home, ask permission for things such as turning on the television or using the bathroom. <laughs> I guess, I guess yeah. I mean the television makes sense, but like, using the bathroom be like, may I use your bathroom? What if they're like, no, I'm sorry. Like, you, my toilet's only for me. <laughs> Stop at a red light. Go at a green light. Well, if, if it's that simple. Pull over for emergency vehicles. This is a law. That's like a, literally a law. These aren't social norms. <laughs> uh, drive on the right side of the road in the United States. Okay. Do not be promiscuous. Yeah, except like people's definition of that changes all the time. Like, I can show you my nipple, but oh my god, if you knew I was born female, or if I... Well, I still, I still have two X chromosomes, like, that's illegal! Like, promiscuity is so just defined by all these different cultures and norms, and I just think that that's a silly one, and be promiscuous if that's what you want to be, okay? Yeah. Try to avoid burping or farting in public. Like, because you know I only feel like burping and farting at home, like in the privacy of my home. I just walk around tootin' and pootin' and <laughs> tootin'. Okay, I'm having too much fun. I just, <laughs> flush the toilet. No, if it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. I guess not all people subscribe to that belief. Say please when asking for something. We've already covered that. Say thank you when someone does something for you. Thank you for watching this video. Please click like and subscribe. Please and thank you. <laughs> Call to let someone know you will be late. Okay, no one in this country does that. You're like on college time. One time I showed up five minutes early for a party because you know what? I wanted to be on time and nobody showed up for like an hour. Nobody called and I was the awkward one. <clears throat> Social norms on using the phone. Say hello when answering and goodbye when you hang up. All right. Reply to all texts and voicemails. No, I do not do that. <laughs> You do not need to reply to all text voicemails. Do not refuse to take a message. No, there's exceptions to these. Do not lie if someone has the wrong number. <laughs> like, yeah, I am Stephanie. I would love to order that cruise package. Yeah, just send it to this address, please. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Do not tell telemarketers you will call them back. I don't think I've ever told a telemarketer I'd call them back, but that is a very creative way to get them off the phone. Do not pretend you are an answering machine. <laughs> Can you imagine? Hi, you've reached Skylar's cell phone. He's unavailable right now, so please leave a beep. Beep! Social norms when dining. Leave a tip for the waiter or waitress. Chew with your mouth closed. Chew food without making sound. See, this is something, the sound of people chewing food bothers me a lot. It's like, um, there's a word. There's a word for that. And um, it really bothers me. And I was like, you know, I was taught growing up that it's like rude to like bite your fork or to, like chew with your mouth open. And I've run into a lot of other people that agree with me and I've run into a lot of people that are like, that's not rude, I've never heard of that. Like this, uh, you know. So I don't know about that one. What do you guys think about that one? Uh, men usually pay for dinner unless invited by the woman. Yeah, no, Tess totally bought our groceries yesterday for the week. So, whip. Do not talk with food in your mouth. I'm kind of guilty of that, but I try not to make sounds anyway. Do not wear casual clothes in a fine dining restaurant. I'm so guilty of that. Do not eat soup with a fork. <laughs> Do not eat sloppily or fast. Do not eat with your hands. So just like tie them behind your back and just take a bite out of it. <laughs> Do not walk through a drive-thru. I am in love with that one. Do not order something that's not on the menu. Like, hey, I know we're at Bob's Burger Joint, but like I'd really like a fish taco. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Now, social norms on elevators. This is interesting. Nod or say hello to others on the elevator. That does not happen at 7.30 in the morning at my work. I mean, we'll be like, you're friendly. You're not like, but. Face the front. Yeah, can you imagine if someone was just like, <laughs> facing away? <laughs> that would be strange. That would definitely be strange. Never push extra buttons, only the one for your floor. You get tempted sometimes. Do not go elevator surfing. I assume that means just going up and down the elevators. <laughs> Never stand right behind someone if you're the only two people on board. Oh, right by someone. Well, don't stand right behind them either, but yeah, that's like... So, uh, do you think we're alone in here? <laughs> or like, you'll be standing alone in the elevator with someone, and you're like... 
Did you bring the money? This is my favorite one on this entire list. Ready? Do not say I'll wait for the next one if only one person is on board. Cause like, can you imagine? You're just, bing! And they're like, mm, no, I'll, I'll wait for the next one. And you're like, it's all the space around me. Yo, I ain't got cooties, I ain't got cooties. <laughs> Social norms regarding personal behaviors. When guests come to your house, you should offer drinks or food. Yo, you want some drinks or food? I mean, not unless it's like a planned like drink date or food date. I mean, I'll be like, you want a glass of water? Or if I've got beer, I'll be like, you want a beer? But I don't know, I guess, I guess, okay. Pay for groceries after you shop. That's a law here in the United States. Mow your lawn. Okay, you shouldn't have a lawn. First of all, you should have an edible garden if you can, but mow your lawn. Apply sunscreen at the beach. I, don't, I know a lot of people that don't wear sunscreen, then they've got like sunburns, and then they Instagram their sunburn, and people are like, oh no, I'm so sorry. Not like you broke a social norm. <laughs> okay, brush your teeth, shower or bathe. So let's just say that a lot of people don't follow these social norms, and therefore I think the idea of what is socially acceptable kind of gets, it's evolved, right? It's evolved, and what we need to realize though is that we, as creatures that exist during the space and time can change social norms or adjust them or modify them, right? So for me, who feels weird um, doing certain things outside of the norm, like facing away in an elevator or when someone gets locked out of a door pointing at them and being like, ha ha, now you can't get in. Like, there's so many weird things that people do. I guess it's better to say that's, it's not necessarily something that's normal versus something that would be polite. Um, Another example is like, you know, yeah, just, just being nice to people, uh, treating them how you want to be treated. But like I said, these things get adjusted over time. So if you're like me and you've ever wanted to Instagram your poop and you've resisted because you're like, that is socially abnormal, I still haven't come to a conclusion yet. I just don't want to, I guess some things are too amazing and I just don't want to share my amazing poops with the world. But maybe part of it is that social norms would make me feel a little uncomfortable. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I really don't know what to do about it. So tell me, right below, comment below, tell me what are some social norms in your country that's around you and your culture, um, wherever you might be, that you definitely don't follow or that you think are, is funny or old fashioned. Uh, yeah, so that's the ones that I read. They're mostly US related. My cat is destroying the recycling right now. That is so impolite, Ducky. That's so impolite. You're making crinkly sounds. Can't see her, sorry, she's so cute. All right, well I love you all so much. Hope you have a fantastic Tuesday. Peace.